So this is called the jobs to be done timeline. And the book that I'm referring to, uh, where this originated from, is from Bob Musta. He was actually working together with Clayton Christian, Clayton Christensen, the, yeah, the innovator around the jobs to be done framework. And he wrote a book called Demand Side Sales. And it's not a book on sales. It's actually a book on journey management. So what he lays out is that, you know, people are actually the jobs to be done timeline is a process of making progress. And that's, I think, what our customers use when making the jobs to be done timeline. So it is a journey. And it starts with the first thought. And from there, you like start passive looking like the example in the boogie shares, which I really like, is like buying a bet. Like one day you wake up with, you know, maybe some issues in your neck, but you're not going to go to, I don't know, a website like a spa and uh, buy a new mattress, right? That's not how it works. So you go, and like, mm, maybe I should fix my neck. And then you start looking passively. And at some point there's a trigger event, like this neck problem starts to be a thing and you start to argue with your spouse about it. And then he or she says, no, nah, you should do something about it. And that's when you start active looking. So the trigger events between those are you know, happening from one phase to another. And this ultimately leads you to make a decision, make a short list, make a purchase decision, and then consuming, and then looking back like, hey, am I satisfied? So in a sense, you can see jobs to be done being a perfect timeline. All right, so I will actually build one with us just to give an idea of how that would work in Deiru. I created a quick uh, base for us. And then actually the phases that we just saw, passive looking, active looking, deciding, those would be like the phases everyone goes through. So here we would have like uh, passive looking, where also the trigger is starting and then we have active looking and then it's going to be like decision this would be like the timeline that people walk through and then of course it depends entirely on the way you are organized like are you a consumer-led business or a b2b business you have different customer types that experience this and this is where the personas come in so i would recommend you keep your personas in um in the journey because different people influence each other also at different cutoff points like i mentioned my spouse in my case my wife would be a different persona influencing my purchase decisions, right? So we'd have a bunch of personas. I'm just going to have one. So that's one I would add to the template. And then what you see in the jobs to be done framework and thinking, and I think this is not something that you see in the, the image here, is that you have forces of progress and things that hold you back. So what I like to do is add these in the jobs to be done timeline. And basically we can have like, quotes, comments, or different types of lanes, but I'll just use the quotes and then I'll call them forces of progress that can be like the next starting to hurt more. And I can also have you know, I'll do a similar lane because I can choose the lane type and then use it for different purposes. In this case, force of progress and holding you back or me if you want to put the customer front and center. And this gives you an idea of how teams can structure like, from their perspective, what they've found in their data or research, what holds customers back or making progress along the, the, the timeline. And then you will have multiple steps, like this will be the first trigger. In some cases, it's a whole phase, the trigger. I mean, multiple events, I like to do one event, but this is how you would fill it in. So using the jobs to be done thinking as a sequence of events leading up to a decision, ultimately leading to being satisfied or not, is what jobs to be done is about. Now, I think this is the structure I like to use and I'll share this one with the show notes in the, in the webinar. And if everyone walks through the timeline of the jobs to be done using this template, it will be easy to compare the different jobs customers have to do. So save it as a template, job to be done timeline, and you are good to go.